Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Rebel Inc. Escalation with our Brutal Difficulty Guide series. We are moving on to the Distant Steps. Pretty fun map, there's a lot of remote tiles but they're all kind of congregating on the bottom and right edges of the map. Biggest downside here is there are a few urban areas all at the foot of those remote zones so they're always at threat from the insurgents. Otherwise, though, I would say it's a little bit easier than the Pistachio Forest. For our uh, governor today, we're going to be playing with the Smuggler. Pretty interesting character. Again, changes your playstyle a fair bit. With extra corruption comes extra money with the Smuggler. So we're going to let the uh, corruption kind of build up a little bit in the early game. But the other downside here is that high corruption has more of an impact on your support level than usual. So... Uh, it's easy to upset a lot of the populace and get lots of hostile populations with the smuggler while you're trying to rake in that extra cash. It's a very fine line to walk with the smuggler, but I think it's doable. Let's see, we are going to be playing with a chef, uh, probably our normal setup right here, tax collector instead of the investigative reporter. We're not trying to burn down the corruption too quickly. Let's go to Brutal Difficulty, and we are naming this one Scorched Torque for some reason. I don't know, that's just what we want. Alright, as far as placing down our HQ, I think there are two viable candidates. It's right here and right here. Remember that your HQ acts as a garrison, so uh, a pretty good centrally located HQ right on the edge of the remote sections here. And still in somewhat urban close to the main roads is ideal. It'll give you some extra support, it'll protect an area, and uh, again, good central location. So I'm going to start right here, for example. I think this is fine. But right here will be fine too. Let's go for our standard opening with the District Representatives, the Effective Procurement, the Services Discussion, School Regeneration, Literacy Drive, and Regional Census. And then we sit back and generate a little bit more money before we continue. Turn a blind eye to corruption to get extra money, but our support level is more vulnerable to corruption than before. So again, like I said, very fine line. I don't know if uh, high um, uh, corruption and very low support level can result in just more insurgents popping up in like cities and stuff, but I feel like the last time I played this, with the smuggler, I got in a situation where almost every city just started raising up insurgents without any camps. Uh, I'm obviously very difficult for me to deal with, so i try not to deal with that. Let's go for an early PR campaign. Kind of let some of that extra support really start to trickle around and keep these guys under control. I also want to get some early roads so we have a little bit more mobility. Inflation's a little high at the moment. Telecoms early on would certainly be nice, and that is actually what some people want, so I would say that that's very convenient. Uh, let's also pick up some extra core healthcare initiatives just so we can meet those needs, since healthcare apparently is the biggest one that people are worried about. Okay. Uh, telecoms, we can afford now. Let's do it. Again, fairly high inflation because we've done too many things right now in the civilian side of things, but that's all right. Not making a lot of extra cash out of this corruption. It's just sort of okay. The smuggler does have a lot of special abilities as well, but we'll cover more of them as time goes on. We can bribe insurgents, and it just spends money to just reduce the number of insurgents on the map, straight up, which can be nice. Let's go for the uh, outreach here. We do have military uh, initiatives, which means there's a camp somewhere on the map. It is probably going to be somewhere where I don't have intelligence, likely in the mountains somewhere over here. Uh, let's guess that it is right here. Here? Question mark? Somewhere closest to the HQ so I can get there quickly. If we can find it and destroy it early on, that'd be great. They did spawn right here, so maybe... Hey, there's the camp. Why do you know? It's almost as if I played this before. All right, what else do we need? Um, more supports. People want water. We'll do that. Um, let's go for the universal justice for a huge bump in our support level. Looking pretty good so far. Now, as you get to about 35%, uh, corruption, that's probably what I'm going to say. We probably should back down and start burning down corruption a little bit. Not too fast, just a little bit. Try not to let that get too high, otherwise the uh, lower support can really come back to hurt you. We do have a special ability called Cut Corners. It does decrease the uh, amount of time for a national soldier to be trained by a pretty substantial amount, but it also really cuts down on their strength. So what you can do is rely heavily on airstrikes and drones and other abilities to make up for that national strength loss, or let the coalition soldiers do all the heavy lifting while your national soldiers exist just to cut off the enemy. That's an option, but I'd also like to avoid this entirely if we can. So let's go ahead and start working on deploying some troops. We also have a special ability called Sell Arms, which just gains you a lot of money. Decreases your national soldier strength, but it just gets you 14 bucks. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we have Military Inc. over here. Gains money over time for each national soldier unit, but it does increase our corruption. Not a fan of that. We're going to go for some early garrisons, though. I think this is a map where garrisons are extra, extra strong because you really want to keep them contained in the mountains. I'm going to build one right here. I'm not sure I like having it in the mountain here exactly, but okay, between the HQ and this, we can control a lot of this region. 
Um, approve the project. Chance. Luxury hotels are dangerous. Alright, we're gonna try it. Um, almost always there's a terrorist attack in a luxury hotel, which causes serious issues. We need to protect our urban regions. Would like to deploy some more coalition soldiers so they can work together, but we really also need to be getting our, um... What am I trying to say? We really need to be getting our, uh, corruption efforts down, too. So let's go ahead and train these guys up. Oop, they're attacking over here, too. Okay. Can easily deploy and prevent that. Again, just gotta guard these urban centers. Losing the urban areas is a serious problem. I would much prefer the insurgents don't retreat into these, uh, forests, if at all possible, but I'm not sure I'm gonna have the choice. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna stick where I am right now. For the moment, we're okay. Yeah, they're gonna do their thing down over here. Not a whole lot I can do. Let's start burning down some of that corruption before it gets any higher. 50% is, I would say, um, where you've crossed the line and gone a little too far. I can try to push these guys back if I can get some reinforcements. Not sure how I feel about that. Uh, pay a ransom for the journalist, probably. We could do a rescue mission. There's a very small chance that they'll be released. I would rather just do this. It does increase the insurgent capability, but it also gets me some free reputation. Ah, we have this already. Wow, that's a little early, isn't it? Okay. Um, I can try to deal with this later, if possible. A little concerned that that's not going well. We're going to go ahead and do a counter-strike, and they did reduce their insurgent support. Unfortunately, we now are losing in the mountains, so we're going to have to back it up. We're going to lose some reputation for not winning that fight, but oh well. Do not want these guys getting any closer down over here. Let's go ahead and move our national troops in this area. Try to ward them away from the main roads. Keep them isolated here in the mountains. Uh, keep them away from the cities. I'm going to have you guys run over here. Since there are no insurgents in the mountains in this area, we can just clear it out, and that's one less zone controlled by the insurgents, so it doesn't hurt my reputation quite as much. Uh, I'm going to go for some more PR for a lot more support. There we go. That seems to have worked pretty nicely. Okay, we can go for another garrison right here, and I think that's perfectly fine. So we're warding this area off very effectively. Uh, you need to defend this urban spot. Okay. Uh, what else are people concerned about? Starting to get some concern about jobs and also more health care. Hmm. Let's go for urban development because there's enough urban areas that I think that getting that extra support in the cities is going to be very important. Right now these guys are fairly well split, but that's just only going to do so much. Now, the smuggler does have the downside of having to pay extra cash for your uh, anti-corruption efforts. They are more expensive than normal, so also be aware that that is going to come back to get you at some point. Let's go ahead and defend our HQ. We do not want them taking the zone, otherwise we just lose straight out. We are getting some good support along the uh, edges of the remote sections. That is what we want to see. I'm going to try... Oh, I'm going to try to go over here and help defend. The garrisons don't seem to be enough. There we go, there we go. Losing the HQ is just game over. Don't want that, obviously. Let's go along the main roads. We are going to be able to defend here, I think. He's getting kind of swarmed at the moment. Uh, let's see. Mostly just concerned about healthcare, huh? All right, well, it's only two bucks, so we can do that. What's our uh, corruption currently looking like? 46%. It's getting up there. Let's, uh, ooh, I can't really, I can't really train anymore. Let's go for the airstrikes. Um, and oh, yeah, I don't think I want to go for interpreters and guides. We need to keep letting that corruption get down. But the airstrikes should make it easier. Look at them swarm over here. Jeez, there's so many. Look at them go. They all just kind of coalesce into bigger blobs than before. Okay, um, we need to start clearing out some of these guys. I'm not f finding the camps where they're spawning. Which is a problem. But if we can push some of these guys back and keep their zones low, we can get our reputation up pretty nicely. Uh, I could use some more roads, but let's go for some more corruption. There is this whole temporary crackdown, which reduces your corruption by a lot, temporarily, so that's pretty nice. Um, I'm going to go for the local police recruitment as well, to try and have somebody helping naturally fight back against the insurgents, since there are a lot of them and I can't find their camps. We probably should get the drones going. Um, I don't think I can really fight in these forests at the moment, unfortunately. Let's try to get some reinforcements to help out over here. Do a cover-up as usual. Okay, they can control a number of connected zones. Yeah, I'm a little concerned about that. But we're getting a lot of reputation right now, so we're okay. What else? Uh, so far, we've met everyone's direct needs, so we're looking all right there. We should probably get um, a little bit more anti-corruption. 
We kind of got that early monetary boost, so I feel fairly comfortable in trying to burn down our corruption. We're not going to lose too much money. We are going to see that our coalition soldiers are going away soon, so let's start training up some more national soldiers. We're up to 50% corruption. Don't like that. Keep it low. Keep it low. These guys are the one that want to leave. Let's go for another garrison. Yeah, I mean, we're... These, some of these garrisons are getting kind of useless, but it's something. Uh, let's go for the public outreach. Put some subtle pressure on these guys. Keep them down. I'm going to want to get some more coalition soldiers to make up for the ones I'm about to lose, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we are going to do a send home. And we are going to leave you guys in the city for now, and I'm going to move you down here. Let's try clearing... No, wait. Let's, um... Let's try clearing some of these guys out and pushing them closer to the garrison. I might be able to surround and kill these guys. Insurgents winning control of a region. Mm, I don't necessarily agree with that, but we do need to get rid of some of them. Let's see. If I can get another coalition troop, we might be able to start really burning this down. Uh, we need to get some reinforcements up here. Mm, not quite enough. Lacks the rules. Sort of making progress. Not doing great there, though. Uh, these guys already want to go home, huh? Ugh, okay. Oh, and insurgents have attacked from the hotel. That's exactly what I did not want to see happen. Uh, we're going to have to send you home. I'm going to grab some more coalition troops, unfortunately. National soldiers are just way too strong. Uh, sorry, way too weak right now, unfortunately. They're just not doing very well. Um... Gonna try to clear this out since there are no insurgents currently there. Let's threaten them to get some extra reputation. I mean, right now our reputation's holding fairly well. I feel pretty good about that. I'm gonna grab another soldier there, and I'd love to get the national arms upgrades. Okay, they are attacking here in the urban area. That's a bit more important. Uh, how best to clear these guys out? Not going to be easy. Let's try to corner them somewhere. Keep them out of the city. Okay, we're pushing them back, finally. Let's move you guys over here, and we should be able to surround and finish these guys off around the Luxury Hotel. There we go. All right, so that's not an issue anymore. Let's get the National Arms. Uh, let's get the drones, since we've been lacking in that a little bit. Uh, Support-wise, we are looking very solid. I don't feel too threatened by it. Let's go for some more roads for mobility. I'm going to move you guys in position to try... Let's make sure these guys actually retreat for a second. There we go. And then I'm going to try to crush them. I'd like these guys to retreat over here if possible. The garrison will help provide a bit of a surround. We have two garrisons fighting over here, so that's working out fine. Uh, let's see, what else should we do? We should get another national soldier and probably some more anti-IED vehicle upgrades because I don't think these coalition soldiers are going to stick around for that much longer. I think at least one or two of them are about to go away. We're about to be attacked in this urban region. Okay. Looks to me like this area may have actually gotten cleared out. Okay, then if that's the case, let's go ahead and move over and defend the urban area. Oh no, there is somebody here. So he's going to retreat over in this direction. Okay. We can clear him out, though. Relax the rules. Always use the airstrikes when you can. 41% chance of failing. Uh, wow, we actually managed to win that. Nice. What do you know? How are people looking? Pretty good. Uh, we are going to go for a corruption reduction. And also the democratic transition. Start building up some of that extra reputation. Did destroy that camp. That worked out nicely. We'd love to have a garrison up in this area. That'd be nice. Apply some subtle pressure. There we go. That should be an FAA. Got it. Okay. Let's move down here for the reinforcements. I do want to now get the interpreters and guides. And probably the civil assistance. Because now is the time we want to start actually, like, building up initiatives in these zones. Actually, to that extent, maybe it'd be better have you go here, for example, and you up here. The coalition soldiers are the ones I still want to be doing the most fighting. A garrison here is not great, but okay. I'll use it to help reinforce this area. Let's apply you down here. 
We're going to prioritize the elections for the free reputation. Well, free, I say that. $16. It's pretty cheap, though. More strength. Um, we still could use the military ink for our extra money from every national soldier. It just increases corruption by a lot. And I really don't feel like we can afford that. Let's go for the roads. Still sitting at 44% corruption, but that's fine. Like, it's not enough that it's killing my support, and we're just getting extra money right now. So that's, that's doing just great. Let's try to clear out some of these zones. Uh, elections due to be held pretty soon. That's fine. Found a camp. Hopefully we get an airstrike on it. Whoop. Okay. Just push you out. I don't see any insurgents here, so we should be able to just free take out this zone, which we did. Okay. And now we're going to try to attack you. Got a bunch of guys coming over this direction. Uh, full elections. 28% chance of disruption. Did not happen. Let's get some reinforcements in this spot. Uh, we are going to go for some probably more employment opportunities. Let's go for the remote subsidies and uh, the remote outreach. And then let's also burn down our corruption again. Keep it nice and low. Okay, we found a camp. I just need some reinforcements here pretty badly. But we are getting that. Ooh, we're being attacked over here pretty hard. Could use some help. Okay, we got rid of the camp at least, so that's good. We're going to push them out. Plenty of garrisons to win over here. Help needed. Yeah, I'm aware. Um, we probably should remove the national soldiers and have the coalition soldiers fight that instead. And that's exactly what we're going to do. It's going to lose some reputation as we swap them around, but at least the coalition soldiers are more competent. There's bound to be another camp over here somewhere. We don't have nearly enough intelligence. I'm going to threaten these guys. We're not in a position where I think we can start working toward a peace deal. Let's get some extra school supplies and the polio eradication and the land ownership. Just increase that support level more and more. Keep getting rid of these hostiles. That is one problem with this map, actually. There's a lot of a, there's a huge hostile population. So they do want to fight against you a lot. Another war distracts the coalition, so we're probably about to lose some coalition soldiers. Um, I think we're going to need stronger airstrikes. And also I'd like to get the travel logistics so we can move our guys around a little bit faster when needed. How are we doing uh, support-wise? Pretty good over here. We should be able to finish with this shortly. Looks to me like they're about to attack in this uh, urban area. Okay, so they want to pull away their uh, some of my troops. I'm not going to do that until I am... Or until the event is close to over. Because there's no advantage to me doing this like sooner rather than later. Let's go for the dirt roads. Uh, let's go for the local police expansion. So we can fight more effectively against the insurgents when they do attack. Okay, so these guys want to go home. Let's go ahead and negotiate. We withdraw and nothing good happens. Looks like the guy that we were about to lose is the one who's withdrawing anyway, so honestly, that was fine. Didn't really hurt me. Uh, we are going to threaten them once again. There's a 35% chance that they wouldn't be willing to even talk to me, and I'm not okay with that. Okay, so you're retreating. You get to move forward and help contain them. We're going to try to build up some intelligence and support over here. You're ready to go home. Unfortunately, we haven't quite built up enough... Uh, support. It looks like what they would like is some electricity. I can afford to get that. We've already gotten all the Coalition soldiers, so this is the most we're going to get at this point. Um, let's go for the extra civil integration and also more frequent airstrikes, because those are pretty strong. If you haven't figured that out yet, they are actually pretty good. But I'm hoping that the police are going to make this a lot easier. Let's go ahead and send you home. Okay. Still building up some uh, stability over here. A little afraid that we're going to end up getting ourselves a uh, camp, but oh well. Um, I think we need more combat reinforcements, and I think we want the drones to stick around a bit more and get more intelligence than before. A garrison right here is perfect. Thank you. Yes. Exactly what I would like to see. Replacement is ready. See, that's hilarious, actually. They withdrew the soldier who already wanted to go home, but now they have to replace him for us. So I'm going to send this guy back, but we already have another one ready to go. I don't know. I call that funny. Actually, let's try going here and see if I can cut these guys off. Whoop. Wait. Never mind. The urban area is having some issues. We need to kick him back. Um, Still not willing to talk to me. All right, we're going to threaten them. They've got a lot of control on zones. I'm aware of that. Okay, so let's go for um, some vocational training and more remote outreach and even more frequent, I think, airstrikes. 
so our national soldiers can start doing some serious damage. Okay. I would like to push you guys back. I'm gonna move you here. Elections due to be held very soon. Okay, we have our support there. Should be okay. Subtle pressure once again. Sitting on a lot of money. What should we do with it? Um, probably more electricity and more education. I'm going to go ahead and do the militia. And then we're getting kind of high on corruption again, so I'm going to sit back on the rest. Alright, there we go. Finally able to push these guys back. That's what I like to see. Alright. Let them start building things up. Build up some initiatives. Found their camp. Hopefully an airstrike takes it out. Let's do a full election once again. Uh, we're... Probably actually should have talked to them. I don't really see any reason not to. They are retreating further back, it looks like. Oh, no, we did get rid of that camp. All right. Let's move forward with the coalition soldiers and try to push them back further. We are going to get the human terrain system so our coalition soldiers don't antagonize the locals and we gather intelligence a lot faster in a region. Not that we need intelligence, but that's fine. Let's fund the military with our excess money to make the national soldiers a little stronger to make up for what we've lost. Let's go deal with that camp. Pushing these guys back pretty well. Okay, they're moving back over here. That's fine. Let's protect some of the urban areas. Destroyed that camp. Okay, you go here. They're trying to attack me in the city, but we have plenty of garrisons around. Let's go for the water expansion. Um, let's go for... Combat sensors on our drones. And let's go for the civil support. So wherever we have a garrison, it increases support a little faster. I'd love to get a garrison right about here. Okay. We are going to push you guys back if we can. Let's uh, go for a massive push with four national soldiers reinforcing right here. Time to talk to these guys. Let's go ahead and start trying to end this. Alright, see, we've got overwhelming force. Excellent. So we can push them back into their only remaining tile, then surround them, and we'll finish them off. Uh, pesticides are probably fine. Looks like the farms did not collapse. Insurgents are banned. Absolutely not allowed to stick around. Whoop, hang on. Okay. Um, I want to move the coalition soldiers here, and then I want to try to force these guys back. If we can deploy here, we can uh, completely surround them, I think. Well, mostly. Found the camp. Okay, so they're going to go to these mountains. FAA there. Clear this out. Insurgents hand in all heavy weapons, and now we've got it. We are going to win. No problem. No problem at all. Let's just use our uh, soldiers to try and build up initiatives and build up support in the unfunded areas. Let's donate to charity. Get some extra support there. Uh, we're going to go for basic sanitation and personal health. And so on and so forth. Anything and everything to make you guys happy. I don't know if this is... Oh, that is an FAA. What do you know? Um, I need to kick you guys back. Gonna move you guys back here to force them back into this mountain. Want to control the direction they go so it's easier for me to track them down and finish them off without wasting too much time. There we go. So he's gonna go back here. Uh, international forces are allowed to remain indefinitely, of course. You're going over here instead. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, uh, that's fine. I'll just attack you here. Let's go for the full reform, get the extra reputation and support in the urban zones. The insurgents must apologize. If we can just kill off these insurgents in just a moment before the peace deal begins, they are dead, and now I think we can go ahead and agree to a peace deal and we win. There shouldn't be any insurgents, so it didn't cost me any reputation. We have 123 already. And that was easy. Not too bad. I, I think this map isn't really that difficult to worry about. Um, as long as you watch your corruption with the smuggler, you're going to be fine. The smuggler's a very powerful governor. Since you're going to get corruption in the early game anyway, just turning that into extra cash works out pretty nicely. And some of the smuggler benefits, smuggler special abilities, are pretty strong. So there we go. 13,579 points on Brutal Difficulty. Not bad. Next, we're going to have to move on to the Warlord and one of the more difficult maps, the Black Caves. Oof, I am... Really looking forward to that one, but we'll come back to that next time. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.